everyone, Dr. Rafi Walt here. Um, hope everybody is doing well. Uh, just a quick reminder to keep sending along those requests for me. I appreciate it, and I'm happy to speak to any of these topics. By request today, I am going to be talking to you all about autoimmune diseases. Just a quick reminder that an autoimmune disease is a disease in which the body's immune system turns on the body. So in other words, the immune system uh, believes that different parts of its own body are uh, attacking it or are an invader and it attacks them and can cause a lot of damage and havoc inside the body. The two that I've been asked to speak about specifically today are Sjogren's syndrome and lupus. Sjogren's syndrome specifically attacks most frequently uh, the mouth uh, and a gland specifically uh, with the mouth and the eyes. So it can cause dry mouth and dry eyes are among the most common uh, symptoms that people have. Lupus is a little bit more systemic and widespread. With lupus, uh, the autoimmune syndrome can attack almost any part of the body, including the joints and other areas. Autoimmune diseases are often uh, treated by treating the symptoms of the disease. So, for example, a person might take an anti-inflammatory or a steroid in order to treat symptoms, but also sometimes uh, medications are given that are aimed at calming the immune system down so that it stops attacking itself. So um, obviously there are side effects that can come along with these medications when you're doing something as serious as trying to modulate your immune system. Um, as it pertains to psychiatry and neurology in general, autoimmune diseases, believe it or not, can lead to mental fog, uh, other problems with concentration, but they can also lead to dementia. Um, generally speaking, when a person has autoimmune dementia, it can be reversible. As we have discussed in the past, some dementias are reversible. So if you treat successfully the autoimmune disease, then you can also um, reverse the symptoms of dementia, the cognitive symptoms that the person has. But what we've also found is that when a person suffers from a long-standing autoimmune disease, it does also increase their risk of dementias that are not reversible, like Alzheimer's disease or vascular dementia. So um, just in general, if you do have these autoimmune diseases, obviously I encourage you to work with your doctors to get it under control, uh, both for your long-term health and for your own day-to-day -day happiness and comfort. I hope this information helps. I am very much looking forward to talking to you all soon. Bye-bye.